ROTC teams from all over the Midwest were pushed to their limits today at the Arctic Raider Challenge. The events would challenge the cadets not just physically, but mentally as well. TV6's Rebecca Himmelstein has the story. It's a day for these junior ROTC cadets to show what they're made of. We look at this not only as a competition, but also a learning experience. Twelve teams of six cadets from all over the Midwest competed in the Arctic Raider Challenge in Calumet. They competed in a series of events from the Accio Sled Race, Snowshoe Biathlon, Litter Carry, First Aid, and Map Reading. They push you to your limits. What can you do? I mean... They, they teach you to be a good follower, and then I've led a couple teams myself, and it teaches you how to be a good leader. It's strenuous. When your team's not doing good, you can't just get down on them, even if you're a team member. One of the more physically daunting tasks was the snowshoe biathlon. Make this shot, and then we're going to haul. The cadets had to navigate a mile and a half course and then shoot a pellet rifle at a bullseye target. They would get one shot to hit the target, and if they did, a minute would be knocked off their time. And then having to shoot at a target when your heart's just racing and you're just all full of adrenaline and you want to make sure you make the shot and sprint back to get a good time. And the team with the best score would win the first place trophy. But the cadets take away so much more. Our goal as the JRTC is to motivate people to become better citizens. They learn how to task organize. Let's, let's get organized to the tasks that we have to do and let's incorporate some strategy and really build the team. The junior ROTC program isn't necessarily a precursor to joining the military, but for one cadet, it is. Just come up here and have a blast. I'm about ready to graduate. I'm in the United States Army, so getting ready to go away and having fun until I go. Rebecca Hamelstein, TV6 News, Calumet.